Hey guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. We're going to continue on with our knot series here. And as stated before, uh, one thing that we notice with a lot of advanced students or search and recovery students is they tend to get intimidated by all the knots out there that there is to learn. And once again, in scuba diving, there's really only three that, that you should really focus on um, as far as continuing education. Even if you're working up to the instructor level, there's really only three. We've showed you the bow line or the bow line. Now we're going to show you what's called the clove hitch or the two half hitch. And this is a good rope or a good knot to use. Maybe if you're tying up your boat temporarily or you need to change direction if you're running a navigational course under the water and you're trying to set lines, this is a good rope to use or a good knot to use for your rope. So let's take a quick look at the clove hitch or the double half hitch. All right, guys, there's actually two ways to tie this. Um, and I'll show you real quick each way to do it. First, we're going to wrap around it tie the clove or the two half hitch and then we're going to pre-tie it and actually slide it down over the pole because it's very simple to do it that way. First thing I'm going to do is actually work around the pole and I'm going to have my static in here on the left, my working in on the right, it doesn't really matter which side you got it on, but I'm going to go over the top of the rope like so and create an X. Okay, very simple. Then I'm going to go around the pole one more time and get a little slack here. I'm going to go around the pole one more time, and this time, all right, instead of going over, I'm just going to simply come up underneath the X itself, and what that does is that's going to create tension. So now, I have one rope going to the left, one rope going to the right, and I have an X going across it. So I can actually pull on the left, I'm going to have tension. I'm going to pull on the right and have tension. And like I said, this is a great way to tie up your boat. It's going to be good and secure, temporarily tie up, of course. Uh, or if I need to change direction, if I'm running navigational lines or something like that, it's a quick, easy way to do it. Now, since our post is low enough that we can actually get on top of it, I'm going to show you another simpler way to do this. You're going to hold it out in front of you like so. And I'm going to have my palms rolled down. I uh, probably want about two to three foot in between my hands here. This first time, I'm going to roll the rope in on itself. Okay, so I'm going to roll on top. This part of the rope over here, I'm going to roll underneath itself and kind of create Mickey Mouse's ears here. So once again, left rolls on top, right rolls on bottom. All right, as simple as that. Then I'm going to take the right ear and I'm going to set it on top of the left ear like that. All right, and then I can actually get me a little uh, extra room here if I need to, and I can take those two loops, set them over the pole, and simply pull tight. Once again, I have a rope going to the left, a rope going to the right, creates tension, and I have my X bar going across it. It's the simplest way to tie a clove hitch or a double half hitch if I have a post that I can actually get on top of. If you're underwater and, you, and you're unable to get on top of it and you need to change it, it's real simple to tie. Once again, I'm simply just going to go around the post. I'm going to create an X in the rope. Go around again, like so. Now this time, I'm going to go up underneath the X. And I've essentially done the exact same thing. I have a rope going to the left, rope going to the right, and my X in the middle. So guys, as you can see, the clove hitch or the double half hitch is very simple to tie, whether you're tying it around something or if you can simply slide it on top of the post by simply creating you two loops or the two Mickey Mouse ears and putting one on top of the other. It's very simple to do. Guys, I hope this helped you out. I hope you're not too intimidated by tying knots. Like I said, in diving, there's really only three knots that you need to know. We taught you the bow line, we taught you the clove hitch, and there's one more that we're going to teach you in a, further, or in a future video. Guys, I appreciate you watching the video. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure you like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.